and should be back up. All right. Last one is Maggie versus Eli Echo Delta Five. Uh, Uh, so this is actually one of my favorite matchups is Maggie. Generally considered to be um, one of Maggie's better matchups. Yep. It's hilarious. I think Maggie has all bad matchups, but this is the least bad of them. I like Raxen too, but I'm like the only person who does. I think the other one that's um, often called is Mags versus Luke. Yeah. Um, personal they, opinion is that these are bo about even for both of them, but uh, certainly like Mags loses to everyone else. So. I don't think that's true, but... I get an impression of Mags. <laughs> uh, that, is, that is fair. All right. My path is clear. Though... Uh, slops to to Ash for not using the correct skin, which is clearly Twilight Maggie. All right, um, these discards fairly standard. I mean, like obviously you're you're throwing dodge, and um, he just is basically useless um, unless you need to like null a beat really bad or something. Give me your best um, you could try like a yeah. So this try. is this is either. Some kind of dodge. It's either that one or this one. Um, it could be safety blessing. Uh, because... Uh, though this is like the counter to safety blessing. I mean, all bursts are counters to safety, to safety blessing. Yeah. That's true. The thing with... Well, hold on. So I think Max... Whoa! Yeah. The thing with Mags is the B1 I think is really interesting because early game, like nothing, right? So I think you you're just trying to do something against Mags against Eligor here. Um, dodge is is fine. I think there's merit to just like dodging off cooldown. I think there's merit to safety blessing and hoping that you don't need. There's merit to. Um, I think there's merit to spiritual drive here because burst is pretty likely. But um, I think there is merit to switch drive. Um, yep. As... Uh, all things at play. Yeah, I'm uh, surprised that uh, switch is discarded. I don't know why. Okay, so it, we've talked about, or Ash and I have talked about this at length. So there are two two schools of thought to Maggie discard's turn one. Um, so you have three styles, all which have the same prio. Right, you have safety. You've got priestess. You've got Excelsius. Um, then you have three styles that have different prios. You have switch. You've got sanctimonious, and you've got um, and you've got uh, uh, spiritual. Right. So you should discard one one of each in your discard. Whether that's sanctimonious and switch, whether that's sanctimonious and like priestess, but you probably want to have safety and excelsius as two cards in your hand and then it's some combination of these three right so you have to I mean, choose one of these three do you really want excelsius yes in the, in this uh excelsius there are a couple yeah. reasons why um the movement on excelsius is not terrible also if you do want to hit a blessing this anti-stun guard um is pretty pretty solid but not only that, because of the prio th problem that Maggie has, like, well, almost, if I have a good pair that can clash on prio 2, that's almost always what I want to do against Maggie, because prio 2 is where all of her stuff is at. It clashes. Safety blessing, it clashes. It. Any uh, minus one dodge, um, it clashes uh, 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 pretty much everything, right? And it's actually a reason why I sometimes keep Strike, which I don't ever really actually want to play beat one as Maggie, but I want to have the option to go um, uh, like Excel Blessing, Anti-Stun anti Guard into 
dodge or into strike maybe or even excel strike clash then I have both blessing and the or blessing or dodge I can see Excelsius um, blessing anti stun guard as being good against Elagor and keep in mind that yours your um, force matters not at all once you get to higher level right so you like spend it spending it early is when you're gonna spend it as Maggie because yeah. getting more prio later is kind of like okay whatever the, the martial text is if you take damage right uh, it is if you take damage yes all but of I his cards exactly. are bad against Maggie aside from just the stats on them right uh, like retribution it's like this mat this doesn't matter until it doesn't matter <laughs> uh, retribution counts printed which is obviously terrible. Um, so. Clearly, clearly it's, it's bad. So, I mean, I think that Martial Burst makes a ton of sense here because it plays around um, Excelsius Blessing and uh, plays around uh, the drives. It does not play around Excelsius Blessing if you anti stun guard. No, I mean, Mar Martial Burst beats Excelsius Blessing because you're not healing with it. Yeah, you are. You are taking four. You're advancing you one. Huh? Yeah. Say again? I mean, so Excelsius Blessing is going to go first against Martial Burst. Sure. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So Martial, Martial Burst um, it seems like a, a very safe pair here. Yep. And then if that's the case, if that's... Um, like, if you look at this now... This is actually super solid. Um, like, the problem is, you might actually... Let me just see here. This isn't perfect, because Martial Grasp is still a thing. But I might I might actually just try to clash into... If I can clash Martial Grasp here... Um, well, I mean... I can, it just won't hit. Oh, no, I can't. It's down. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. that sucks. Yeah, I, I think that these discards are a little suspicious to me. Because, so things I'm thinking. Um, one, soul burst is so good. I would probably want to play a little bit of switch shot as Magdalena. I usually do. Is One of my other pairs is switch shot, anti-stun guard, turn one. The problem yeah. that I have a lot of the times is... And this is actually less relevant against... Elgor in particular, is for the... You're not wrong in how much you dislike Blessing, where I don't want to... Um, like, I don't care about a, a lot of damage early if I'm planning to Blessing. Right? Like, I don't... So hitting them is less relevant for amounts that are higher than... or lower than three, like three or lower. If I'm trying to nail a Blessing early. Yeah, I mean, you could also just, like, safety shot, I guess, I hate, in this situation. I hate this, though, because this is obvious to me, that this, because specifically... Yeah. Um, so I think that if, they if should have If you discard Grasp, um, you're you're opening yourself up to, to this. So I feel like um, what happened here is Ash just didn't really consider uh, Mix's D1s when... Yeah. Because, like, Marshall Burst is like, yeah, you okay, this makes a lot of sense, you know? Yeah, I, I, w I might have led with Safety Blessing and just hope, you know, it's a mix-up, right? Um, yeah. And and it's not trivial. You do dodge on rotation, but it's not trivial as to when you do. So, and, and keep in mind that, you know, this caps your damage at three, right? So, you can't, this caps your damage and lets you get in close. So, like, but you lose, you, look, you lose beats as, as Maggie level zero level one like that's part of playing mag that you don't get to win early beats right that you, you want a chance to win them right? right like if you ever do win a beat early as maggie like man you're you are a monstrous favorite comparatively uh all right so what do we got here so I think there was one thing i would want to look at is was there merit to uh, just going to range four as Maggie, a lot of things. 
Hmm? As Maggie? Uh, if it's a, if it's, if you're talking about as Maggie, I highly doubt it. You have very little ways to get in, and none of your stuff does any damage. Yeah, um, but I mean that's okay because Elagor doesn't have that much, and you just probably want to buy time. Um, but here, I think it doesn't work because um, Vengeful Drive and like whatever shot. Um, yeah, Vengeful Shot, Ven Vengeful Drive, both kind of wreck your day. Hell, even even something just like chained whatever, you know. So I don't think going to range four helps you very much. Specifically because he has that mix up that's both so good, like ventral, ventral drive and like you know counter shot or whatever. Yep. Um, I th or like retribution shot. I don't know. Um, basically makes it no good, but it's something to to look at, right? Because Elagor's options are very limited at long range. This is not a terrible beat to consider something like. A spiritual drive. Uh, the <laughs> problem being that you have counter drive. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm. I actually think you're probably, probably just running something like this out, and just trying to, you know, trying to stem damage early, or you're dodging, which is probably more likely. Um, People don't dodge enough on on Magdalena. Just like just. Oh, dodge I dodge on rotation. Them. On rotation. Uh, yeah, I, I watched your game against Salafan. You don't dodge on rotation. Oh, uh, yeah. That did not happen against her. Cause I, that was uh, me not playing like I normally do against Ali. Um, but, yeah, I, I think you should dodge on rotation, basically. Um, yep. This is fine. Right? Um, I think for the same reason... Uh, I actually think that maybe he should have Vengeful Shot. I don't... I don't see why Vengeful Strike is specifically better. Um, More damage, right? Uh, sure, but it, this specifically still clashes these minus... Like, if you look, like... Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a really good point. The light beckons. And you're disincentivized to want to use Sanctimonious on beat 2 in specific, because next beat, this is now 0 to 2. And this is actually one of your better styles with uh, power-wise, right? Because it doesn't come with Spiritual's drawbacks, and, you know, it's minus 1 compared to all your other ones being minus 2. You can't escape your fate. I think something like the first thing that strikes me in this beat is just, like try and land a priestess. Right? I mean, it's pretty hard for Elagor to go fast here. Yep. Oh, LP's right. Um, she'll level up, so she won't have any trance. It's it's uh, it'll be um, it's a turn after. Because when you have one trance, it's it's zero to two. Yeah. So here it's really hard for Elagor to go fast. So you can probably get in. Um, like a priestess drive, right? Yeah, the problem that I see is that because of burst, you know that, like, and it's not just priestess drive, right? It's also priestess, or it's also spiritual drive. Um, so I feel well, I, like... I don't know if I'd want to be hitting Elagor really hard in this situation. Well... Especially with Marshall coming up. Like... The, the, where I'm going with this is drive is tough because the uh, counter drive... Just seems pretty easy. Counter drive is is pretty okay. Um, you could like priestess grasp. I think you'd be more inclined to priestess grasp than priestess drive. Just because. Yep, priestess grasp also. Oh, fine. Everyone plays the drive here, um, and like people don't burst very much here. So, aid of play. I think priestess grasp makes a lot of sense. I like that it also only gives him one. Uh... It only give him one vengeance. The thing is just to have make sure he doesn't get to five, so the partial. Yep. Is not interesting. Now there is the argument. Now later, so later you you do want because priestess um, is deceptively good, right? Just priestess is actually plus three in value, um, right? They get minus two power, you get one life, like. Deceptively, very, very strong. It's, you know, 
this is only plus one. I mean, you know, Priestess is plus one total, right? Well, you get, they get minus two power, and you get one life. Yeah, but it's a minus two style, so. Sure, but you're counting Maggie. Like, the style, okay, what the, but... all of her styles, this is like her base style, you know? Yeah, but like, you, you wouldn't say that, like, spiritual is plus three, right? Like, spiritual is plus one. Sure. Well, I mean, the text is... on this makes it plus three, right? The hit text? Minus two. Text is worth three points. Yeah, I agree. Goddess of sunlight, reveal your glory. Because later you want to match up priestess with Marshall if possible. Oh, this is fine. Okay. Right, like you don't want to risk um, the burst. You don't want to risk the counter. Um, yep. counter drive. I think that it's pretty crazy. Here, so that seems like a good play. It, yeah, and you're you're level one, right? This is you're still just early game. And so for for mix, mix doesn't want to spend tokens, and he has to spend tokens to be safe with a drive. Yeah. So the shot here. All right. Uh, so this beat is this is one of those beats that I am less happy. Um, he has bless burst him. with Why room. Uh, he's got burst with room, and he's got like Marshall Drive. Uh, I think. Please don't like. I hope this is not a spiritual blessing. <laughs> uh, I mean, this seems like it seems like a super easy blessing, right? Just like sanctimonious yeah. blessing. Yeah. Um, where, okay, so what, what is my, so Sanctimonious Blessing is going to be, uh, Prio 2. Hmm. That's not going to match up with OL later. Uh, so what else we got? How about... Strong with with sanctimonious blessing? No, I'm I'm looking at the class change, uh, just to see what what options are. No good clashes, right? Yeah, uh, not that I'm saying. Uh, this is the easiest one no, to no, see, no. but then mm -hmm. you just like then he has drive and you don't. Yeah. Also, just like if you clash the counter uh, drive, you just burst, right? Burst is completely safe. Yeah. Um, there is an argument for doing this instead, and then clashing into Sanctimonious Blessing, which That's crazy, yeah, it happens. Let's see how you answer this. Like, it's very easy to clash Maggie early. Yeah, see. Dane, why would you? What? This does Garbage. You should totally blessing here. You can't escape your fate. I mean, like, if, if you're not blessing, like, you're not doing this to like clash into a blessing. You're doing this because you think strike is better than blessing. Which I'm telling you, I do this to cl when I think someone's specifically going to clash my blessing because it's obvious here, right? This is a blessing beat. It, this is not a not a not blessing beat. This yeah, is a he has no good clashes. Like all like. If he if he clashes you with um with counter drive then like fine and you just like burst and you're okay. Hitting Elagor um, is a really bad idea in the situation. I think like rather heal three and gain a chance token than deal four to Elagor and give him max tokens. That's okay. So here, here, uh, because I think okay he doesn't have uh this is. Probably uh, chain strike or it's got five counters. Um, hmm, this isn't perfect for him. This is like most likely to hit, right? Uh, can't lose mm. there. I could do that. 
Um, but for me, for my money here, I think uh, that this is probably this. Maybe this. That's worse. No, oh, you you don't bless him now because you're healing him, and he's already got full. His blessing is, is yeah, really but, bad now. No, no, no. It's it's like you still want to get to level three higher. This is okay, why you it's not worth like. That's Dude, what, like you don't spend your whole beat. You like you you say this every Maggie game, game, man. I'm telling you, blessing is better than that. Like it's really not. I mean, you keep thinking that like these the, uh, instead of amount of damage done, it's like hits to kill, right? If I'm at level three and level four, my hits to kill doesn't drastically change, right? It's still like. I mean, it's not uh, let's see here. He just dodged as, as Maggie, like... Well, okay. What is this? So he played Chain Strike, Excelsius Burst is okay. Uh, he doesn't have Shot or Drive, so it's okay. Um... Like filtering, but... Um. Uh, and also, the cool part here is... Let me just make sure this is correct. Uh, so this is plus one at the moment. Uh, and he's at minus one, so... This should be chain, or he'll probably play grass. So here the idea is that. Um, so here I would play blessing, and he's gonna clash it with grass, so I'll dodge afterwards. So if you want to fight uh, the allegor here, that's um, terrible. The idea is that both. Yeah, that's really bad. So the idea is that both um, drive and shot are down. So. Um, the only way you're getting hit on a burst is with chained. And yep. chain strike is the safest thing, quote unquote, and mix is quote unquote safe. So of course it's gonna be a um chain strike. So he is filtering for that, right? Playing something at the same prio as chain chain strike and then it's safe. Um but I think like as Elegor, I would have been more inclined to try and set up I was really expecting a dodge from Magdalena, but Ash, I think, is not like a very dodgy guy. I talked to him um, at some point, and he said that like his game plan as Mags is to like be ahead on life the whole time, which I thought was completely ridiculous. But um, I, so yeah, I think that you win almost every game that you are ahead on life. Um, yeah. Like so, that is always the goal, right? Um, I think that the trance, the trance, and us gaining three life equally, um, the trance is a big deal. Um, like every beat that you spend not at level one and level two almost matters more than like just being at level two, level three, level four, um, because you're so bad early. I mean, in this case, like yeah, you know the because mix plays. I don't. I don't understand this at all. Unless it's just but, a throw, right? the, the printed power is going to be like zero or one in every situation, right? I don't know, like, play a burst or play a grass or something, like... <laughs> this seems horrible. This is, uh, uh, why oh, why would you ever play... You, say, I see you would never hand? play Aegis against against Maggie. Uh, what's what's Mike's hand here? So... And Excelsius is minus two, right? Uh, Excelsius is minus two. And but she's level two, so it's zero yeah, but, plus so, one so two. You're afraid of the drive, I guess. I mean, I don't know why you're afraid of. Yeah, I guess I guess it's the drive. You're, you're saying I have no way to beat Mags's drive, except for chained Aegis. I wonder if he pushes he... her. Yeah. He does not push him. Okay, perfect. And now we level. Watch here instead of playing this because, like, not the end of the world at this point. I like um, dodge there better, black. but like Aegis is worthless. Maybe he's just playing it because you know Aegis is bad there. Um, yeah, but like, I, I would rather dodge than let a blessing hit. You know, right? Like, you want to do something against the drive. I don't know. This seems. Crazy. 
I mean, I get that everyone hates Blessing. Um, I think it has it's better than than it looks. Okay. Um, yeah, dodging dodging is good. Yep. Oh, I don't know what this martial burst is, but Let us move. what is this martial burst beat that you're so scared of? Like priestess grasp exactly? Uh, priestess. I I'm not sure what this beats. Like, you have drive and shot, so I don't uh, know. It has to be exactly targeting Priestess Grasp, I think. Okay. Uh, I, like, it still it's loses like, to the other good, two good options, right? <laughs> like, Priestess Drive is, is good. I mean, because you just clash into, you know, Priestess Drive. It's curious, but I guess it pays off. Oh, maybe it's playing around a burst. It has to be that, right? Yeah, it's playing around a burst. Okay. That 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 makes some sense. All right, and now we're level three, so now we actually get to play Battlecon. You get to play Battlecon at level two, don't you? Yeah, you're a little bit of level two. Really bad, Felagor. Like. Yeah, level three mags at sixteen HP. But... Well, well, keep in mind oh. he's only at sixteen because she blessing, and he's at nineteen. So, like, it's unfortunate, yes, that he is not at sixteen. But us being at sixteen is way more important, right? Than us being at at uh, thirteen. Like us at sixteen it's versus it's not the same, right? Because I'm going to deal so much more damage than him later, right? If <laughs> it's really close to being the same, like obviously a free blessing is good. But like, if you like got hit by like a switch drive on the turn you blessing, and it's like a thirteen to nineteen instead of like, what is this? Uh, so this is. I mean, it seems pretty good, right? Because like, what does Elagor do against spiritual burst in this situation? Seems seems great. This. I mean, I don't know. Spiritual burst seems great against this. Like, I mean, you're you're gonna hit him for five. Um, and like okay, it's just sure not great, but like it's it's fine, right? It's not it's like it's even ish trade. Yep. Obviously, like dodge from Eligor would have been fine, but like um, it's at worst even ish, right? And like yep, it it does really well, right? So I think that um, and this, this is nice, right? This is a good good pair, solid pair. <laughs> I'm really looking for like um. He hasn't to be played, careful of the market coming up. So he hasn't played counter once, which is shocking, and and I think Maggie's been or uh, Ash has been playing around it, um. And I I don't know how long that's going to last. So here, uh, man, uh, I'm level three five. Ugh. Okay. I think that's my pair here. I think something like Safety Blessing makes a lot of sense from Magdalena here. Uh, Safety Blessing's good, but I think this is better, right? Um, actually, mm, I don't know. Like, I, I really want to play Safety to get the movement. But the movement is, I don't, like, we're, we're where I want to be, right? Next to him? And I've got dodge up next. I, I want to be um, on the other side so that I don't get marshaled uh, next next beat. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, I mean, I can yeah. dodge, right? Yeah. No, I, I was thinking. I was thinking I'd be able to like threaten burst against the marshal. I, I'm really thinking about the marshal next beat in the situation. Yes. Yeah. Do that. Then yeah, something like priestess drive just seems great. So. If that's the case, you're not wrong. Um, there, there are two ways to do this. So Priestess is specifically good against Marshall, um, in that it makes it, it, you know, makes Marshall as, essentially a zero, right? Because it doesn't get plus one, and you give it the minus two for five. Um, unfortunately, you go first now at level three, so. I don't know. I, I think 
<laughs> key to deal with, sort of, no matter what. Um, I think you just want Priestess and, like, not not get countered here. That's the main thing. Yeah, okay. So Priestess, Priestess Strike. Oh, Priestess Strike makes total sense, right? Because they're, you're 0% to get countered. And that was the one thing you were really afraid of by playing Priestess. Yeah. I don't understand what Mix is doing. Um, I don't know if he knows how Aegis works. Um, this is this is crazy. I mean, does he have like early? No, I mean he he has he has a token mechanic. He's not running out of stun guard. Um, like vengeful anything is better than this, right? Yes, Aegis is terrible. Like vengeful grasp does the same damage as this. Anything else is better. Uh, and now I think he's in trouble, right? Now we do have our our life lead. We we were in trouble a while ago. But, um, this is like really close to over. Yes, yes it is. Elgor had ways of fighting back. I don't think I don't think it's that close to over. I take that back. Like, there are things Elgor can do, right? Counter is always a threat. Uh, Marshall's up this beat, so. So, okay, as mags don't get marshaled, do something. Like, switch drive is a fine way to not get marshaled here, right? Uh, I mean. Yeah, or, or dodge, yes. Dodge, dodge is fine. Who next beat, if he doesn't marshal? Which beat is worse for you? The, uh, this beat or this beat? Um, for me, if I'm Maggie? It, it depends. If he plays shot here, I'm really happy. Because then I, then, like, um, so here's what I'm thinking. So, I want, if I'm looking at Excelsius Dodge, so I can go here, come back to the corner. Um, if this is, uh, Marshall Shot, then he is fucked. Because now I have Spiritual Shot 100%, and it's, like, it's gonna be... He's gonna get annihilated by it. I don't know if I want to be um, in the corner because Marshall Strike is because you might be able to do it without anteing tokens. Um, that's scary. I also don't see why you would ever shot here as Elagor, right? Like, what is? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll see this push that you're playing around. Um, okay. It's... Uh, I don't love that, but I think it's probably fine. Um, maybe he's worried ab about one, two, three. No, so one, so two, and then one push the corner. No, one. He, he's just trying to stay close to a dodge. Yeah. Okay. He's beating like. He's saying, okay, this Magdalena is going to either drive or shot dodge. Which is not necessarily true. I mean, she could, like, something that seems... Eh, it seems pretty bad. Um, uh, I mean, there's, yeah. a, there's an argument here that you're just supposed to play uh, Switch Grasp. Which I think actually would stun him out, right? Yeah, oh yeah. By a lot. Well, yeah, because he didn't... I mean, this is the thing, is that he's... He's exploiting the fact yeah, that if, uh, LP is not right. first. LP is right. This also specifically beats switch drive. Right. I don't know if I would switch drive here because this uh, switch. I don't think he's bursting. I just don't. Maybe he is though, because like Marshall bursts. Okay, that's. I think I get it now. So he's he has Marshall burst that he's showing. Right? And the way to beat Marshall Burst is with a drive. So he's playing the second level, which is counter drive. Yeah, I, mean, well, I think it's, it's not so much like a level thing. It's not like you're specifically targeting it. It's like, what reason is there to just like lose to drive and, or to lose to burst? And there really is no reason to lose to burst. Like, you should not. So, um, and this is like why people, why all people play like, drives and shot. It's not that they're like predicting burst every time, it's that they're like 
there's no reason to open myself up to that. Yeah. I think, I think counter drive makes sense. I think keeping full tokens makes sense. Um, this play seems fine. Um. So now Marshall Strike is really scary, right? Um, it does. It can do up to 10 with a power anti. Yep. Yes, it can. It's going to be a martial shot. Like, what do you do against martial shot? Uh, well, this does 8 with a power anti. Yeah, but 8 is not, like, uh, do that. As Magdalena, you're like really far ahead. You don't want to trade like eight for eight in this situation. Yep. Safety, right? Like safety drive. Uh, four, five. Safety shot into stun guard is not terrible. You have all. You have force gauge. Yeah, I mean, why why shot over drive here? Uh, drive's fine too. Um, I think that like the the drive is nice because you can miss like a retribution strike if you want to. That you are correct. That is better. I like your play better there. Uh, safety drive anti. Well, oh, that's why. Um, this cannot be stunned if you anti stun guard. Because of how safety but, and shot with stun guard works. Yeah, but your drive goes faster than everything, right? Um. Yeah, I th yes, it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Safety uh, and drive. I think it's like martial shot or something, probably. Yeah. Grant me strength. Be like a martial strike. I could see martial strike here. Um. I don't know. I think that you, there's not there's, much of a reason to not shot. Like, there don't, don't is a, an argument as well for Excelsius Drive. Uh, or even Excelsius Grasp. Um, because you can throw them at a range. Well, I mean, I really don't think you want to get marshaled here. Like, that's your number one priority as, as Magdalena in this situation. Just don't, just don't take eight. Do not take eight, and you win the game. Well, and... I don't know, that's kind of tricky because they're so good, but um, yeah, I really would never, ever, ever get marshaled here. It makes me think, what if what if Mix has a way of not playing Marshall here? Because then next beat, yep. Marshall is much better. Yeah. You're not wrong there. Um, and, and Marshall, right. there's no real option. Um, so safety drivers end, ended up being the play. Okay. Maybe you want to like change strike or something as Elagor in that situation. So, um, and that is a that is another play that I think is fine. Um, I'm trying to think here. I I would like chained more if I could throw him across the map. Um. So we are level three. So the cool part is. We're actually only taking six. No more. Yeah, I mean that that's sort of the whole the whole point of, of safety, right? That trades yeah. even is that getting destroyed. But um the what I was thinking about is again, this is the same bias as where Mix basically has to decide which beat he's gonna marshal on. Because really there are only two answers to marshal. One of them is dodge, the other one is safety. Um, in discard one. So you really want to marshal Magdalena either this beat or next beat. And it's like a toss-up of which one you do. And I think that, again, there's an extremely strong bias that people have for marshalling now instead of marshalling later. Um, just like in the um, Rukyuk versus uh, Berman game, right at the very end, uh, Mix you know, has to decide, okay, am I going to get draft to play around Dragons Ascent this beat or next beat? 
a bunch of games as well, like, you know, against Schecter, where it's like, Schecter can kill me this speed or next speed. Um, I think they're going to dodge this speed because, you know, right. that's, like, you know, how people play. So I'm just going to, like, pass, like, play, you know, Switch Grass or whatever. Just, like, say, if you if you hit me at the speed, then it's fine. I've had a million games where, like, it's this level of, like, which speed do you do it on? Yep. And, um, you know, the people who, like, have a million reps, um, you know, they... They they're, they're well versed in this dynamic. Um, I think it's mix would be well served here to hold the martial shot um, because I think it's like it's well like one of like the, play right. one of the issues that you'll have is if you hold it is priestess specifically matches up pretty well against martial right. I mean priestess is good going to be good against everything right. It's the same no matter what like it's always going to be minus two power heal one. So I, it it's just that martial does a ton right. So but like getting hit on any beat. Uh, with Priestess is, is equally bad. Really, like, missing out on that much. Yeah, okay, so now now is, like, the... So this is why I think this matchup is, like, not that bad. It's because um, Elagor does have things. The big one is Finisher, right? Like, Finisher is... I mean, it's kind of tricky because it's, it's still printed power. Um, so it's not, like, insta-kill, but it's basically insta-kill. Like, I mean, unless you're doing... Um, like Excelsior's grasp, like it's gonna, it's gonna kill you. So, at, you when to... I look at these and I look mm -hmm. at my level, um, there's a strong possibility that I would bless him here. I think it's not crazy because it does play around finisher, and again, like you just can't get finisher. If you get well, finisher, you lose. Yeah, yeah, and not only that, but like. I'm level four now, right? Like, I'm killing him at eight. You know, him at eight, him at five is is pretty similar. I agree. There's nowhere. Um, I mean, it's not totally similar because he does have a lot of sources of soak. Yeah, I agree. You know, I think that at this point, yes, the life is clearly more valuable to you than it is to him. Um, but the main thing is is you have to think about like what does he have that beats beats first? Because that's the most much more obvious thing, right? Okay, um, the Which thing is, the thing they had the beat first. Yeah, literally nothing beats this this pair. So this is better than blessing. Um, so it, verse is like the, much more obvious than blessing. I mean, blessing does play around finisher, but the easiest way to play around finisher is definitely um, just subject. Um, situations where Elagor has um, shot and shot and drive down, and it's like, well, what do you do? Well, I would like to see a dodge from Elagor. Um, Ever? Because this is really hard for Elagor now, right? Like, what's he gonna do? Like, has he dodged once this game? Um, I don't think I so. I forget. Let's chat help. Um. <laughs> Or sanctimonious shot, right? Kills everything. Um, uh, does it? Yes. I mean, unless you do something about it, right? So. Well, wait, wait. Um, wait. Um, you have to get soaked, right? Well, it's five. Uh, what else you got? Clash it. Yeah. Oh, clash it? Uh, I don't think you can, right? No, it's uh. It's well, maybe you can. You have a uh, vengeful grasp. As nope, you should be cannot. four, right? Vengeful drive seems really good here. Four. Uh, this is okay. Yeah, sorry, it is four. Yep, I'm thinking of something else. Vengeful drive, anti power. I, it seems like a very good pair here because it clashes. Um, if if they do something random. Then you um, die because the random thing is probably faster than you. But um, you you do have some chance of like maybe maybe this chance of hitting is ridiculous. So they have literally nothing that um, that is going to die to eventual eventual drive. I can believe that that literally nothing dies to eventual drive. So hold on, this is interesting though. Um, so the other thing you can do is you can um, you can soak a bunch, right? 
Yeah. Um, with an with an Aegis. Yes, you can. But then you're playing Aegis. Like, what are you doing with it? You know. One thing that's kind of interesting is um, counter Aegis here, um, where you can try and soak the damage and then hit back. Position for finisher. That seems like not bad. Um, but you need, you kind of need Balls of Steel because, um, I don't know, that's okay, right? Because the spiritual shot, he gets wrong. So, yeah, so what you can do is you can, um, so you're level four, seven, six. So you should marshal, sorry, you should counter Aegis Anti-3. Is that right? Uh, six plus three is nine. Um, four, just for reference, this is going to be four, five, six, seven, eight, plus power is nine. So, yeah. Yep. And, and this won't... You, I don't think you can play this because of that. So you have to play this. If you're, if this is your plan, it's either this or this. Probably this. I don't I don't think you, you spiritual shot and, like, die. That would be, that'd be bad. But priestess shot is, is the real one, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so this, this is a problem actually, because if they priestess shot and you anti three counter Aegis, then you don't actually hit back, right? So that's very bad. And if you do, it's for three, right? Yeah, but I mean, that, that's okay. Um, I think the so do then that sucks. You're still in position for alt, so it's not the end of the world. But um, it does it does suck pretty hard. Chained burst is is a real possibility actually. That's a that's a good point. Um, maybe specifically you loses to to sank shot, right? And maybe maybe you're you're kind of on the like they're not going to sank sank shot me like that that's reasonable. Like you have to take some risks. There's nothing you have that's hundred percent for sure. Uh, again, um, so, hold on one, two, zero. You're right, LP. Because of this. Yep, so three. Wow. Lady of Light. Okay, four. I don't know about four. Why four? There's almost no reason at all for four. Stun guard, you're gonna die, so I don't. And it can't be. It, it could be chained Aegis, right? That's the one pair with this. Why? Not even. No, it, okay, this makes sense, yeah. So it, it, this would be Chained Aegis. In... What? Four instead of three, because... Like, if you anti three, you're never dying anyway, right? Well, no, no, the, uh, correct, right? So the whole point is that Aegis plus three is enough, right? Because you get six on guard, three soak. It's not enough, right? The spiritual shot does kill you if no, you no. anti only three. No, uh, six, three. This does four, eight, nine, uh, and you're gonna soak th three of it. Okay. Yeah, so yeah you, so you have to anti four. That makes more sense. So, so mix is too chicken to die to spiritual shot in this situation. So, okay. So, so what he's doing here is. He's playing counter Aegis to beat Spiritual Shot specifically and try and win the game that way. Yep. I okay. think his goal, I think Spiritual Shot is the least likely shot. That's my guess, just from experience. I'd be um, pretty surprised. Five. I mean, let me ask you, is it does it matter? Yeah. Does it matter? Like, we're we're in. You know, I don't think we're winning on two. Uh <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is just all in on predicting counter counter um, spiritual, spiritual shot, which I think is the least likely shot. I think spirit uh, priestess shot was yeah. the most likely. Shot. And he's gonna live, right? And he's gonna hit back for zero. He's not gonna. He's not even gonna hit back, right? He only advances one. Uh. Well, this happens. Right? The whole problem. Like uh -oh. you're not even in all range if you do this. Be gone. Reason to anti four, not five, is you're not in all range next turn. Right. Um, and so at, uh, we're a hundred percent now. By the way, this is a hundred percent from here. Can't win. Can't lose. 
Um, so I think that like something like Chained Burst um, is actually my preferred play there. I think you know you, you obviously can't beat all the shots, right? Um, it feels dumb to like chain burst and like just lose to a sanctimonious shot. I think that like that's what you do. I think that that's probably the uh... is less likely than um, priestess shot plus spiritual shot. Chance, but I mean, it doesn't kill, right? No, nope. we're and we're still on that. Chain is zero power, right? So. Um, you do actually leave Magdalene at one. Yes, correct. But, you know, I don't know. Like, not dying is kind of nice. Uh, I think we, we have two options here. Option number one, uh, we ult. Option number two, something burst. Um, oh, okay. Um, it doesn't actually matter, though. Like, What's the 100% here? It's not. We are not 100% allied. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, so, like, there's no full board, right? So, a chained... Alright, this is um, only chained five. Bird would be nice, but you don't have enough tokens. So... Um, if only you had not anti that extra one on... Um... I guess you, you had to, because you're too afraid of spiritual shot. Like, spiritual shot, you have to anti the last token in response to the uh, power anti. But um, here, if you go full board against um, the Sanctimonious Drive, or against Magdalene in general, uh, like, how are you winning the game? Uh, I don't. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Here's how you win the game. Um, this is has to be your plan. Switch burst, switch to Sheet Lightning. Um, that... Not sure about that actually. Um, this is, it's kind of complicated. So she lightning is pretty dangerous. But I mean, how I'm else are you winning though, right? We we should really calculate this carefully. Um, so switch first. Um, okay. Switch to sheet lightning. Say it's a drive and it's advanced two. Then okay, the only out. on the next turn um, dodge in and you die to spiritual yeah Six. Uh, this feels this feels like as long as we don't end at 6 to 6 and he doesn't switch like actually even then so I'm the way that I'm thinking about it is one of two things number one I actually don't want to use sanctimonious um, next turn, if I can avoid doing this somehow, um, like, and I'm not 100% sure, because he only has one token now, keep in mind, um, like, the, the problem being, like, but he doesn't have enough to kill with this, uh, so yeah, actually, I think this is correct. He can't kill us this turn at six, right? Um, yeah, he cannot kill us as long as we don't do anything. So I am looking at, like, doing nothing, uh, somehow. Um, the quest? Like this. Like, I am looking to do nothing as Maggie this turn. Um, I, I don't know, that seems bold. <laughs> oh, okay, um, so, so hear, hear, hear me out, though. So, he probably wants to get in to have Sheet Lightning, or Sweet Revenge. Sheet Lightning doesn't work. Sheet Lightning. Um, do you mean Sweet Revenge, or do you mean Sweet Sheet Lightning? No, I mean, so, um, I'm thinking about, I'm worried about Sweet Revenge. Okay. Um, and no, 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 I'm not open to the Sheet Lightning play, because I'm going to kill him. Um... If this is sheet lightning, which is six, right? So it can be eight. Um, and I'm four. So this is six. Oh no! So I lose out by one. Shit. So, so I mean, I, I can I can clarify for why the sheet lightning doesn't work. So let's say you play switch burst um, in this in this position. Yeah. 
and Magdalena plays, Magdalena has to play some drive. So say they play Sanctimonious Drive. Um, Switch Burst switches to Sheet Lightning. Yeah. Um, the only out Magdalena has at that point is to dodge. Plays some shot. Uh, Magdalena dodges into the shot, eats it. But the thing is that the shot only does five at most with a power ante. So you live and then you have a guaranteed spiritual um, on the beat afterwards and counter is down because... Um, yeah. Actually, uh, but you didn't. I was thinking you you ulted so that it didn't cycle, but you didn't. You played a shot. Um, if you, if so there is a way, way to avoid, avoid playing this, mm -hmm. um, this will hit. I think you play this. If this will hit full board next turn, you're gonna die to sheet lightning. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, so I, I think I think you need to be able to dodge out of a sheet lightning. So what happens if? So what happens if Elagor goes switch burst, which is a sheet lightning, and you play sanctimonious drive, and then the next turn you play dodge and Elagor plays some shots, so you go to max range. Then do you have? Be lightning at that point. That's what I'm curious about. It's beat 13. Yeah, I know, but like... Well, no, I mean, now we can just try to, to, to win, right? By by not taking damage. I, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I think I think someone's going to take lethal damage here. Maybe, right. like, if we open... But I, I, well, we, we really need to figure out how we're going to deal with um, switch burst into some shot. To um, martial shot, for example. Do we... Oh, can, is spiritual shot just faster than everything at that point? Yeah, okay. That's right. Spiritual well, we shot just faster than everything. We don't have okay, shot. That, that's the definite. We don't have shot next turn. We have burst. So what I'm saying is, okay, what happens? So if mix goes for the sheet lightning line, here's here's what happens. Which burst? Um, Magdalena plays any drive. Needs to play drive for the advance. So space seven. Magdalena is um, space four or five. Uh, space two or three doesn't matter. Um, Threatening Sheet Lightning, so Magdalena should dodge. If Mix Sheet Lightnings that turn, then he loses because Magdalena dodges in and then has like spiritual drive, whatever, because the counter is down because uh, cards don't cycle uh, when you ult. Um, if Mix instead plays a shot instead of the Sheet Lightning, Magdalena still dodges in, um, goes to one. Because no no shot is lethal, and then next turn plays um, a spiritual shot. The shot is down, and the spiritual shot is faster than everything. And Mix doesn't have enough tokens for the soak, so yeah, uh, he, he will not have enough tokens for anything anymore, right? So um, the sheet lightning uh, is actually zero percent here. Uh, it's deterministic loss. So Elgor needs to find another plan. Can't can't go for sheet lightning. Has to burst because Sanctimonious Drive beats the Sheet Lightning, so he's pro so Ash is probably going to play that. Um, I don't know what you do. I think it is a mix play. up. But I mean, how about this? Yeah. Okay. It's so so mix mix. You know, it's a hard cal calculation, so I don't blame Mix for missing it. But um, like yeah, it mixes zero percent at this point. Um, that's right. Dodge into spiritual whatever. Let us move. No more. It's like it's basically like a sacrifice. Um, Magdalena has to realize that she has to, she has to be willing to dodge into damage on this coming beat. Yep. Um, honestly, I wonder if you should not switch there because like I think the switch makes it very obvious that you're zero percent at this point. Um, and then this should just I mean if it's. Uh, well, that doesn't... Well, no, I mean, this functionally similar-ish. No, uh, it's not.
I mean, like, switch dodge, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I wouldn't, I mean, just don't get clashed, right? But yeah, switch dodge. Other line on beat 13. Here, this is very obvious, right? What's, what's going on? But. And now he's dead. Lend me power, saint of justice. Yep, and so this is just 100%. It's like snap lock, right? <laughs> Not very difficult. <laughs> yeah. A swift end for you. Goddess of sunlight, reveal your glory. I always joke around that this is actually Magdalena's finisher. You're unworthy to be part who's of who's Magdalena? Uh, this is actually Maggie's finisher. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is that, that is definitely her finisher. This like Comet Drive for Eerie. Like... No, Eerie has a real finisher plan. <laughs> Eerie has a real finisher. This is fair. Yeah. Uh, I actually think that Maggie is not OP, and I think that she's a little underpowered. Um, so I, I think that. Hurt Solar Soul being one to three is not unreasonable. Like I don't even think that fixes all of our problems, but it's a nice extra. Uh, anyway, yeah, I thought those were great games actually. Yeah, um, I mean they're you know nail biters, right? It comes down to w one life. It's so painful for Elagor to lose to one HP Magdalena with four force, so. If you go over that game, you're probably looking for where can I squeeze in an extra power ante because that would make that would make the difference. Um, obviously, I think the counter Aegis um, targeting spiritual shot. I think that's really loose. Like, oof, really. And if um, I also think the the, the Aegis' early game were really bad by Mix. I don't know why he did those. That was kind of crazy. Yeah. I think those Aegis' like, were bad. Like, um, I think that the Ash really messed up the discards. Um, didn't, like, play around uh, Marshall Burst. So that was, that was not good. He is asking for details on why Switch Burst is bad, right? So... Uh, why is Switch Burst bad? I don't think Switch... Uh... I mean, the switch burst is like just what we talked about, right? Because you get to safety dodge into, um, you know, into range four, which you can do zero things about. With yeah, but you, you, you don't even need to. Oh, did Eligor have dodge? That's maybe the detail I'm missing. It has to be literally safety dodge then. Yeah. Because right. Then... But it's keep in mind, it like goes to time. Okay, yeah. So right, so it, the, exactly it doesn't matter. Right. It's hundred percent, right? Because it's safety dodge, and he can't clash safety dodge and cheat lightning. So okay, like he has no options. He's losing either way. That Eligor could just dodge and was at like higher HP. But still, I, was, I mean, yeah. give your opponent the chance to screw it up, right? Or yeah. accidentally concede or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys are right. It has to be safety dodge. Yes. All right, man. Uh, I think I'm going to call it there. Uh, I'm going to get That's somebody. Fun. This is fun. So yeah. I appreciate it, guys. Have a good one all. See ya.